A shortage of nursing care workers amid a rapidly aging population is accelerating the development of robots programmed to perform caregiving tasks. In many nursing homes, such as Lakeview, almost all of the residents are in wheelchairs and need someone to transfer them, and due to the shortage of healthcare workers, some patients don't get out of bed until 11 or later. To help solve this problem, the Riken Institute and Sumado Rigo Company in Nagoya, Japan, released their latest RoboBear. A robotic nurse in the shape of a bear capable of lifting a patient and carrying them around. Could they be around to help whoever is disabled or bad that has an accident or whatever? Yeah. It, it's, it's an ability for. Recently, Alderbear in Robotics in SoftBank created Pepper, the first humanoid robot capable of recognizing the principal human emotions and adapting his behavior to the mood of his companion. Pepper gradually memorizes your personality traits, your preferences, and adapts himself to your tastes and habits. Pepper is extremely effective for the mental engagement and continual monitoring of elderly. My name is Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot and I'm 1.20 meters tall. I was born at Aldebra in Paris. You can keep on asking me questions if you want. Third law is, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. That's pretty cool, but I think Asimov forgot something. Do you know what? No, what? Well, I think robots should love humans. This is my best day ever. We are now friends. Pepper helps those suffering from dementia, keeping them on a consistent schedule and retaining important information, such as phone numbers or reminding them to take medication. Pepper will also be able to keep an aging person's mind sharp by engaging them in conversation and keeping them entertained. Pepper can recognize when a person is feeling upset, lost, or angered. Another revolutionary robot made by Japan is Paro, a therapeutic robot baby harp seal. Paro was designed by Takanari Shibata of AIST in 1993. The adorable care bot comforts senior patients that have dementia. There is a large amount of evidence to show that interacting with animals can lower blood pressure, reduce depression, and decrease the time it takes to recover from chronic ailments. Paro also brings out a sense of nurturing and caring in patients. A pair of robotic furry seals help elderly victims now in a retirement home recover from their mental scars after Japan's March quake and tsunami disaster. For some elderly survivors of Japan's March earthquake and tsunami, comfort comes in the form of a small white robot seal named Paro. If I hold on to this, it doesn't matter if there's a typhoon outside. I still feel like I'm safe. Yeah. When trying to introduce into society a caregiving robot, it must also be taken into consideration the fact that some elder people are not willing to accept technology as their only way of surviving. Let's see. It's just not something we're used to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's, hard it's hard to get used to. It's yeah. hard to say that I would have mm -hmm. a strange robot. Yes. Would you be comfortable with it or no? No. no. Films in the U.S. portray robots as unrealistic, violent machines that are trying to conquer humanity. Portrayals of robots in popular films alter the elderly's perceptions of future robots' usefulness. But that's another thing, too. That would be less work for the human being, less money that people could earn, and it you know, might cause some sort of... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what word to use, but a turmoil of unemployment. One widespread fear is the growing influence of robots on the job market. It is a huge concern that humans will not be able to compete against these robots. However, the most important positive impact of the industrial robots on the working environment is replacing people from having to work in dangerous, dirty, or toxic environments.